Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bypass iCloud activation log on iOS 12 up to iOS 14.8.1 using PassRain, a tool created by Always Apple FTD. As you can see, I have an iPhone X on iOS 14.8 on the activation log screen. As you can see, the first step is to go to this website called AlwaysAppleFTD.com. To get to this tool website, click on full instructions. Read the instructions carefully. These are the supported devices. If it's not in the list, that means not supported. This is the warning, especially for HR devices like iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR and beyond. You get this how to download password, click this to download. Click the media file link to download. Once it's downloaded, you just go to Passrain 1.0 beta, drag and drop Passrain to the applications folder. Once you get Passrain on the activation, I mean application folder, open terminal, enter x a t t r dash c r. Make sure the space between XATTR and the CR, then drag and drop bus train into the terminal. You get this, press enter. Once done, open bus train. Once, once you get the get here, you close the terminal and applications window. Click up, set up bus train. Click OK to install the dependency required for the bypass to work. This will take some time, so be very patient. Once you get done, Click OK. Then after that, jailbreak your device using check the built-in check rain. Click jailbreak device. Click open check rain built into to this app. You just if you get this error, click options. Click allow untested iOS, iPad OS, TV OS version. If you still get this, make sure you. Click this as well if you're using A11. Has this is an A11 device? I forgot to mention. Then I click start. You get this. Click OK. Click next. This is the A11 thing about the BPR check. Please skip that if you're using iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone X. Has this is an iPhone X? I will have to use this. Then after that, start. Press. Volume and site key together. Follow the instructions of the jailbreak to access the jailbreak. Just follow the instruction on screen. Once it's on DFU mode, allow it to bypass. I mean jailbreak. Once you get all done, you click done. I can repeat the setup process to show you this device is still on the activation lock screen. You click yes to say it's all done. Okay, yay, you can move on to bypassing your device. Click OK. Click Bypass Device. Click OK. This will take some time for the device to be bypassed. If it says press Trust if wanted. If you don't see anything about trusting the device, you can click Device is Trusted. And wait for a few minutes for the bypass process to start. This will take some time, so be patient. And boom, first step is done. Your device is activated tethered. Follow the instruction says on this. I will be following after I set up the device. Once you get the home screen, you can open the check wing loader to install Cydia, very important. Click on Cydia, install Cydia. This will take some time for the install Cydia. Once Cydia is installed, tap Cydia. Follow the instruction on this text. Tap return to Cydia. Since and type, I mean click and all. We don't need to update now. Then we search for Cydia substrate. According to the instructions.
step here, see the substrate, then modify, install. Then confirm the installation to install CDS substrate. This will take some time, so be very patient. When there is no errors, you can just try to don't restart screen board, just swipe away CDR. Once you get this, you can click CDR substrate install with low errors. Now allow it to go untether. Please test trust on their device if you want to. If you do see any pop-ups on your phone, you can just click device is trusted. And wait, this will take some time for the tethered by the untethered by bus, I mean. This will take some time, so be very patient. Tap this piece. One last step, which is to insert a lock SIM card. I really locked my SIM card using my other iPhones off camera. I'll be inserting this lock SIM. I'll be popping in to the phone. Insert your lock SIM card. Set up a device before you insert your lock SIM. Once, once done, cancel the SIM lock prompt. Do not enter your PIN on the SIM card. Then after that, click lock. SIM card is in bypass i device, then click, and you get bypass done. Click OK. After which you can just restart the iPhone to show you that it's untethered. Let me show you it's untethered. Restart the iPhone. Turn off the iPhone. Now turn on the iPhone again to show you this is untethered. This bypass is untethered. You don't have to jailbreak your phone again. Just click cancel wherever you see the SIM card prompt. And the phone remains untethered. Just click cancel on the SIM lock screen wherever you restart. As you can see, the phone is successfully bypassed with always Apple FTD2. There's no signal by the way. This bypass is no signal. And only works up to iOS 14.8. The minimum version is iOS 12 for check rain compatible devices. I really hope if you enjoyed this tutorial video, please like, share, and comment the video, and please do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in another video again soon. Bye for now.